Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can really quickly set up uh, Google Ads enhanced conversion feature uh, for your campaigns. The process if you follow uh, the automatic data collection approach uh, is very simple. Um, so basically, you know, there are different ways you can set this up. One way is to go about the manual approach um, if you're not using the Google Take Manager. Um, so probably you're going to have to embed some uh, some codes or data layers into the back end of your website. But that's not the approach I am going to show you today. Uh, the one I'm going to show you is simpler and uh, it's implemented via Google Take Manager. So if you have a Google Take Manager set up for your website and you are tracking uh, Google Ads conversion tags, um, we are take manager, then this video is going to be helpful for you. Without further ado, I'm going to jump into the Google Take Manager and directly show you as to what you need to do in there. So basically, uh, so first of all, you have to have a conversion um, set up for your campaign. Um, so let's say we are going to talk about uh, a conversion action for an e-commerce website. In this case, um, I do have these various conversions. Now I'm interested, this is one of the primary conversion actions that I have set up for the site. And I'm interested to set the enhanced conversion for uh, this main conversion. So enhanced conversion is basically a feature that uh, is going to supplement your actual conversion uh, in a sense that you know it's going to send more customized data around specific conversion actions on your website and that's that in turn is going to allow google um, to attribute conversions to certain actions on the website and uh, uh, auto optimize some factors around data signals like uh, user behavior or what specific action at uh, which stage of the user journey are going to be responsible for conversion on the website. So it is important in that sense. So, you know, once you have that uh, primary conversion uh, action set up within the account, you're going to have to go to this section that says enhanced conversions, click on it and you have to click on this box. In this case, in the case of this account, uh, this conversion action feature is already um, set up and it's working. So I'm just going to walk you through this process as to how you can do it. So turn this on and uh, in here, you're gonna have to choose Google Tag Manager, right? So if the first time you are gonna uh, uh, turn it on and uh, you're gonna see these two options, you're gonna have to select this one and then click next and then type in the URL of your website. Once you do that, um, put the URL without the HTTPS or the slash uh, signs, just the root URL of your website because once it detects that uh, your website uses um, Google Take Manager route to, to set up, you know, your Google Ads conversion tags, um, then it's going to allow you to go to the next step. So as you see, uh, you know, it says because you used Google Take Manager to set up your website, you uh, you need to use it to set up enhanced conversion. So once you use Google Take Manager to set up your website takes, you have to use the same uh, tool to set up your enhanced conversions as well. So if you click on open Google Take Manager, choose the account that's relevant. Here you're gonna have to do two uh, simple things. So, so first of all, you're gonna have to go to the variables and click on new, click here and type in user provided data. If you just type in you know, the keyword user, it's gonna show here under uh, the utilities um, section. So uh, select it and here click the automatic collection option instead of the manual configuration one. 
Uh, with the manual configuration, one is going to take you through a different um, route. So we're not talking about this one. I might co cover uh, the manual approach in some future videos, but for this video, you're gonna stick to uh, the automatic, uh, automatic collection. Click on it and uh, just go ahead and save it. You don't have to do anything else. Just save it, uh, give it a name, user provided data, that's the same name, and save it. Since I already have this one here saved, so I'm not gonna duplicate it. Um, so after you save uh, this variable, you're gonna have to go to the tag section. And since you will be setting up your Google conversion tags within Google, uh, tag manager within GTM. So it's already gonna be showing somewhere here in the list. So uh, navigate to uh, the tag, the conversion tag associated with your Google Ads account and uh, click on this section here. Sorry, not this one here. Yeah, so click on the X section and go down in here, choose user provided data from your website, this option. And uh, in the drop down menu, choose this one. It should be pre selected. If not, just you know, expand it and click uh, user provided data, the variable you just set up, and save it. That's pretty much it. That's done. Uh, once you save this, you are also going to have to do one more thing. Uh, you know, you're going to have to submit the changes and publish the changes that you just made so that it's deployed on your website and the data is start coming through. So that, and then it's gonna take some time for a, your enhanced conversion um, data to reflect within Google Ads um, for it to be activated or be shown within Google Ads, a conversion has to happen on your website, right? Belonging to this specific conversion action. So if it's a purchase, website purchase, Someone needs to purchase some something and the source should be uh, the Google Ads campaign um, or if someone is just submitting a request form or something that needs to be carried out on your website for it, for it to be reflected within Google Ads. Once it is done after a probably you know 10 to 15 hours or maybe 24 hours in some cases, uh, the data is going to be shown within Google Ads and where you can see it is, you know, you have to go to conversions. Go to uh, the uh, conversion action where you have enabled uh, enhanced conversions and go to the diagnostic section here. All right. So essentially, you're not going to see very granular information as to what these enhanced conversion actions are, um, are with specific information about uh, these conversions. But you can see in the diagnostic section that the enhanced conversion action has been enabled for your website, and it's already sending data, and Google is utilizing the insight for uh, your Google Ads campaigns. So that is pretty much it. Um, I haven't covered the manual approach. Probably I will cover that one in uh, some future video. Uh, if this video was helpful, feel free to share your comment and, uh, you know, showing some generosity. You might like the video. Um, it's going to help me uh, to put in some more efforts, come up with some more useful videos for you guys. So if you're not a subscriber, you make sure to subscribe to this channel. And uh, let me know if you also want me to cover uh, enhanced conversion setup uh, using the manual approach. Just let me know and I'll try to cover that in the future video. Thank you so much. Until next time, take care. Bye.